Here we're asked to solve what is called a compound inequality. We actually have two inequalities in one. Here I notice we're going to have to apply the distributive property and multiply both the terms inside the parentheses here by 2. We have negative 8 is less than or equal to negative 6x plus 10, which is less than 34. The goal is to isolate the variable in the middle. I notice here we have a plus 10. So I'm going to choose to subtract 10 on all parts of the inequality. That gives us negative 18 is less than or equal to negative 6x, which is less than 24. At this point, I notice I'm going to have to divide by a negative number. And dividing by a negative number, we know, requires that we reverse the inequalities. So here, when I divide by negative 6, we have a less than or equal to after reversing becomes greater than or equal to. Here we have a less than becomes greater than. Continuing, we're left with 3 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than negative 4. Now I can rewrite this equivalently negative 4 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. So there's infinitely many solutions between negative 4 and 3 where 3 is inclusive. Let's shade those in on a number line. Here we have a number line where the lower bound negative 4 is a strict inequality. So we're going to use an open dot for that. And the upper bound 3, we have an, uh, an inclusive inequality. So we're going to use a closed dot for that. And shade all the numbers in between. These are all the real numbers that solve the original inequality. Now the interval notation equivalent would be parentheses from negative 4 to 3 bracket. Remember the parentheses indicates that the 4 is not included, negative 4 in this case, and the bracket indicates that the 3 in this case is included. So that's the interval notation equivalent for the infin infinitely many solutions to the original inequality.